there a role for lobbyists or special interest groups in Idaho politics? If so, what groups or organizations do you feel represent your Madison County constituents? So lobbyists over in Boise, I believe, play a different role than the lobbyists that you may think of in Washington, D.C. In many instances, the lobbyists that uh, participate in the legislative session are representative of membership organizations. So they're over there advocating for specific issues uh, to help address the concerns of folks both within our community and communities around the state. So one example is the rural cooperative uh, group that uh, is represented over there by a lobbyist. His name is Will, he's a great guy. And what he does is when there's bills that are of particular interest to their members, he makes sure to come and talk to me and explain their concerns. And also gives me a point of contact within my particular district to be able to say, hey, if you've got questions about how this affects your district, we have a member who can help answer those questions. Those are the kinds of lobbyists who are there to help educate and inform and ensure that as we navigate over 400 plus bills in any given session, we can get a feel for what, it, uh, what matters in our community. Then there are those lobbyists who decide that they are going to go after and score bills. And they use a scoring system to attack legislators based on their opinion of that particular bill. And I will name the elephant in the room. It's the Idaho Freedom Foundation. For years now, they have gone through and they have scored bills and they have produced grades and, and have determined whether or not someone is actually a champion for freedom based on a score provided by this organization. This is an organization that does not reveal who its funders are who claims it does not endorse candidates and yet sends out mailers specifically naming specific candidates. So in short, I think there are two kinds of lobbying organizations, the kinds who educate and form and those who attempt to bully and intimidate. Mr. Ney. Thank you. Lobbyists have a disproportionate influence in Idaho politics. Um, my opponent receives over 66% of her donations from special interest groups, from PACs, from Boise Insiders. That's a lot of influence. Of course, she has a favorable view of lobbyists who are the special interest trying to influence votes. Um, as for the Freedom Foundation, they grade bills. They rate bills and then the legislators determine their own grade by how they vote on bills. They're not coerced, they're not asked, all they do all legislators do is vote on bills as they see best fit, and the grade is determined for them by their own votes. The American Conservative Union also rates legislation and gives percentages to legislators. And my opponent also has a low score there. It's not one group. Other conservative groups, up for growth, grades legislators. My opponent has a low score there. I have a high score. And so if you want a measure of conservative values, those who stick to the Constitution, those who protect taxpayers and limit government, the, the evidence is clear. We have agencies, we have institutions that rate legislators. If you want to see about influence and the lobbyist influence, then you can look at the amount of spending. And there are other lobby groups that rate bills. Yes, I score low on the food, food producers uh, index who rates bills as well. But they're a special interest looking out for special members of their constituency. And there's a lot of other special interest lobbies who do similar things. It's laughable to me that my opponent talks about dark money when if you look in your mailbox, you're seeing all the mail coming about Representative Maine by these dark money special interest groups who are trying to denigrate a sitting representative for his conservative values, for watching out for the forgotten man, the taxpayer in Idaho, and who has done exactly what he said he was going to do when he ran for office. Thank you. Ms. Ray, what do you have for the seconds? So I'm not sure where Ron got his numbers, but during this election cycle, through the end of April report, 75 of my donors were individual donations, and 15 of those donations were company donations. Of the individual donations, over $30,000 came from men and women like you who support me. Company donations, $9,700. The other part that Ron leaves out is that he's taking donations from board members of the Idaho Freedom Foundation, Doyle Beck, Brian Smith, and their families. The long and short of it is, is there's plenty of money going around. I'm just open about where mine comes from. 